Foot Locker MTV. I go by the name of DJ Jelly. And I'm going to bring on my man. Y'all might know him from Shade 45. I'm talking about the infamous, world-renowned Sway. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute now. For some of y'all older folks, y'all remember from back in the TRL day, I'm just saying, MTV. So he's doing his thing right now. I let him give some love to my man Sway. Right here, right now. ATL, let's go. Let's go, ATL. Atlanta, make some noise. Where y'all at? Come on, make some noise. Give it up for DJ Jelly. Hold on, man. Hold on. Take that mic. That's your mic. Hold up, man. Hold up, man. We here to have a celebration, man. Hey, if you happy, you blessed that you woke up this morning, make some noise, Atlanta. Make some noise. All right, man. Welcome to the, the Puma Lab, powered by the Foot Locker. Give it up for Puma. Everybody make some noise. Hey, hold up. These are the sneakers. Um, that I have on right now, they're extremely comfortable. I think uh, we're gonna need a mop the way our feet are dripping right now, Atlanta. Real I feel jelly. real good. You feel you see me, Jelly? Right? Dripping, dog. We, we, we both dripping. It's very important that you got the right sneaker gear on. We're gonna do a lot today. Uh, we got these artists that are gonna come out. We got a we got something we're gonna do. We did a special collaboration with these artists, and they had their shoes especially customized by the one and only Corey Bailey from Sarah. That's his brand. We're gonna have you guys vote on which shoe you think is the best. Okay, we got people walking around with iPads where you can cash your votes. And then not only that, three of you guys that vote are gonna walk away with some free shoes. And the artist that wins, we actually gonna donate some money to their favorite charity. Atlanta, you like that? Make some noise. Now, this morning I was in New York City on Sway in the Morning Shade 4 5 and I was bragging about I won Atlanta and Atlanta to me is one of the hypest cities in the country and so we got these cameras right here my man right here with the camera can you turn the camera around on the crowd real quick so we can show <laughs> He put out a bunch of mixtapes. Are you gonna fix that one for me? It's okay, go to fix that one for me. And we up to that volume five, man. He put so many tracks on that, man. You ain't got to never buy another project in your life if you don't want to. Um, he's here today, man. He got big things on the schedule coming up. Give it up for young bands, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we got a good 
Rodriguez. What does that mean, though, Pamela Rodriguez? We got a lot of artists right here. Does that mean, you know, make sure you're on time? Does that mean... Everything is on time. On time. So look. A period. So that was good. That was good. In your name, how many people saw his name in this video? Anybody? Everybody! Everybody! Let me get out of views. Um, what's your creative process? Like, you have your own way of making music, but you have your own way of creating the visuals. What's your process? How do you, how do you decide what you want something to look like and sound like? I don't. Okay. They had nothing to do with it. I didn't show it up. Yeah, it was going on. It was going on. It was going on. It was going on. In the seat. Bunch of girls named Tennessee. You heard that, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, congratulations. This man was nominated for the WSL 2019 Freshman Cup. Give that man a round of applause. <laughs> if you come up in the game, I'm hoping that that would happen one day. I'm not going to play it in the so it's my turn. It's your turn? It's my turn. Okay. Um, Everything about your presentation seems like it needs to coincide with the music nowadays. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to you, Deontay. You know, why, why is that so important that your fashion, your visuals... You said that my performance is around the game. Yeah. You're performing that band around. That's like one of the biggest hip-hop concerts in the game right now. I'm slated to be hosting Roller Loud this year. Really? So if that, if that all works out, I might get a chance to introduce you on stage. How important is stage performance to you? Stage performance really like everything that goes in and with you. You can't perform and you can't really engage your fans and pressure on a personal level when they come to pay to see you know, see you perform something. What song do you think in your career got the biggest reaction that's really kind of changed the game for you? In the beginning, uh, my song Dressing, and it's on Dressing, on SoundCloud. Y'all know we have to get a round of applause and dress with tools, right? Good movie. And after that, on Bad and Future, I realized it was on this, and all the way up to them. So everybody, everybody got to see it. Everybody got to see it. Yeah. All right, um, I was watching online. This is kind of mine. I was talking on stage for the ones. Um, that you would ask me key, if, this, if I'm not mistaken, before growing up, you used to look in the mirror and practice yeah. and start. My mom mirror. My mom mirror. Look how it is, a mom mirror in the hallway. Uh -huh. And coming through it is to, like, it's my son. It's my son. That's how I was like, when I'm on stage, it ain't nothing new to me. Nothing new to me. How, how many people, like, when you take a shower, you in the bathroom, you start performing to the mirror, if that's what you do, make some noise. Yeah. Everybody, so if you keep performing in the mirror, one day you can be on stage right here. <laughs> like, Keith, don't give up on that. We were talking about the adventure of Deontay, and I, I think Puma has done an excellent job at this. You know, Puma has always had a relationship with hip hop culture, and it, it started off in an organic way. It wasn't something that any corporation or new style to hip hop has. Back in the day, they were rocking on Biggie Smalls and Rock Puma. Um, but when I first learned about Puma, it was in the great dance era, the great dance era, when you used to see the original rock steady crew, and all B-boys and B-girls used to have their Pumas with the fat faces on. Who know about that history right there? You know, and the next step in, in, in Port is when we talk about reinvention, we're seeing how Puma is constantly reinventing um, how they present the sneakers with this artist and it's a trans collection on MTV. So we want to talk to all three of these artists. So that's what we want y'all to vote on is which customized sneaker you think is the flyers that got the most drip and then that, then we gonna donate some money to whichever artist wins their charity. So uh Court, let me ask you uh, let me ask you this. Style is so important, style and fashion, and how you represent yourself in the big you know, when it comes to hip hop, when it comes to culture, just street culture in general. Um, what made you decide, what made you believe that this could become a viable business? Uh, there's a couple of things that did it for me that I, I, I really saw the traction. Uh, one, one of my, uh, actually, uh, high school dudes I went to school with, he's a late number, he did a whole bunch of journeys for a bunch of fabulous songs. A whole bunch of artists, Chris Brown here, and Kanye, and a whole bunch of people. And I just saw, like, you know, you can pay stickers and do all that stuff. And, like, you know, I'm not going to make those and stuff. And, and, you know, why not try and do it? You know, it's a music.
could be in a kiosk in a mall, right? There. <laughs> You know, it's not so hard to get on the camp, but you know, at first it wasn't, it wasn't easy, you know, there was a lot of people around to look at it and go, I can do that. Um, so you try it, you can get it. You know what I'm saying? You create a tall over here, so loud? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, what does that mean? What does that stand for? Uh, it's short, it's Italian. I think I had a business partner because it's Italian, so you want to do the name of it. So, uh, it's in short, it's a living name. Okay. Uh, let me ask you, let me ask you, what do you look like? You got these sneakers on right now. What do you like? 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 You know? The gold represents, you know, how you're standing right now. I would like to know what you like. Yeah? What do you like? Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? What do you like in the sneaker? What do you like about the ones you got? I think everybody that feels safe, same thing, like they're comfortable. Like, a lot of times when you do it with fashion, we do it. That's healthy, comfortable, and I don't know what you're looking for. So it feels good, it feels good, it's something that you feel good. Yeah, I feel good. What about you, Steve? They actually match your socks, man. Did he Gucci? I see that. Did he Gucci? The socks are Gucci? Yeah, okay. Yeah. And I got oh, yeah. the green, the shrine, the slip. So, green. This, 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 this. Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Let me ask you guys, uh, can, we, can we show them, can they see the sneakers that they're both on? Okay, so these are the sneakers right here uh, that were customized in collaboration with Corey Bailey by each individual. Okay? And let's have them hold it up. I want y'all to look at these.
man. Give it up for Corey Manley, too, for the designs, man. Give it up for Corey Manley. Thank <laughs> you. 